How's it going? We're in the Kaimanawas, bush stalking seeker. We're in here for three nights. I'm talking a bit quietly because I've just left the hut and we're on fresh sign straight away. Prince Winding, super keen. The plan for this afternoon and this evening is to climb up here onto some nice benches and we're hunting into the wind. The wind feels real good, conditions are good. We've had a bit of rain a couple of days ago. There's some real nice country in here and we've got the next three or four days at it. So come for a walk. three hours and we're almost back where we started we come up from the hut up through these benches and we're dropping down the other side and print got onto that deer and tracked it down and around and back up and right back up to where we started and it squealed at us from over the other side here so not too much accomplished this afternoon I'm pretty buggered it was a bit of a travel day today, late night last night, early start. Uh, my mate is hunting back the other way and I also said if you want come back across the river too so I don't want to head over there in case I'm coming back through right where he is at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to call it an early night, head back, get sorted, have an early dinner and um, get into bed early and have an awesome sleep hit the ground running tomorrow we've got another two whole days and another half day so plenty of time yet early days Yeah. 
How's that? Little buggers, eh? This is, I'm literally on the hut clearing. It's the hut clearing right there. It's the hut clearing right here. And it's about an hour before dark. And as we're coming back to the hut, Brent just started sneaking and pointing and sneaking and pointing. Here's the hut clearing. There was a deer right there. That's what the seeker are like. It's right where it's right where I went up. So I've been coming out right at the hut while we've been out hunting. Very typical. Now I'm not sure, but I may have heard a shot earlier. I've got a maiden here with me who's trying to shoot his first deer. So fingers crossed, I sort of just half heard something. Bit of a rumble, I hope it was a shot. And I hope my mate shot his first deer, that'd be awesome. How's that? Right at the hut. Should have just stayed sitting on the veranda. <laughs> Good old buggers. And Print was just sneaking through there. So, you know, I knew there was a deer right here. Um, but yeah, they were just up in the pepper woods there. Maybe a little bit, another half hour, they might have been on the hut clearing, but... Oh, no shortage of deer around, and we've got another two days at it, so it's all good. Yo, day two. Nick didn't shoot a deer yesterday. Neither did I, obviously. It's 2 p.m. Just woke up early with it drizzling. Thought I'll go hunting when it stops raining. And it just hadn't stopped raining. And we spent all day just chilling out. It's just been really bloody good, actually. First time I've done that in a long time. Just chilled out in the hut for a few hours. And, um... Now we're good to go. Because it's wet, I'm not going to have the gun cam. Because that thing's not waterproof. But we've got the GoPro, so you guys are long for the walk anyway. We've got sort of six hours. <coughs> I'm going to go downstream past the area I hunted last night. And into some new country. So um, I'll keep you posted as we go. Crazy bit of gear.
Good boy. Good boy. Tip's been chewed. Pretty hard case place to find a cast. Come here, Print. Come here, mate. Come here. Good boy. Shit is definitely turning into the sort of spot you want to treat with a little bit of respect. Come here. Get in. Yeah. Bloody gnarly prick of a thing. Awesome spot, but a pain in the ass at the same time. The idea was, was to shoot down the river here, get just down around the corner, and there's a nice side creek I can go back up. And there's also some nice looking country um, on the other side of that side creek, up the other side. And if I could just could have just dropped into the river and nipped down there, it would have taken five minutes. But um, I could definitely get around here, but just that bit right there. Going up over there looks interesting skidding around there this stuff's all bloody slippery as anything it's like bloody um real slippery and the last thing i want is even just print getting down in the gore i don't want him to slip go down in there and thing is is i can get around up around the top i was just trying to take a bit of a shortcut so i'm a bit of a sissy when it comes to things like this if i don't have to do it and I can get around it, I just don't, don't do it, and go around, um, as soon as I get to the point where I'm like, oh, should I go around there, as soon as I'm thinking about it, if I can get around it, I do, it's a pretty safe rule, that one, I just don't like pushing my luck in the bush with anything, and it's a policy that served me pretty well too, the other thing is, is I also can't see a way out of the bottom of this gorge, it just, keeps on tightening up and the real fun things about gorges and bluffy stuff and going through challenging stuff in the bush when it's a one-way deal I can only go either all the way through or have to turn around and come back out is when you just make it through some really dodgy shit and you do that three or four times trying to get through something like that and then you hit a complete block that you can't get through and you have to turn around and come back through all the dodgy shit you just made it through um, yeah not that much fun.
way more likely to shoot a deer going this way too.
Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, it's only a tiny little Bambi. Um, and I knew it was small when I shot it. I didn't think it would be quite that small. But um, it's hard to get scale on them sometimes. Bush stalking, and when you see them at a bit of a distance. But there was such a good find for print. Real nice find on the wind that. And um, it was just all done really nicely. Print was basically locked up. Real nice direct wind. He brought us right around this face. And um, yeah, it was just too good a reward for him um, not to tip it over, you know. And uh, we've been talking about how we've got the camp oven back at camp. And we're talking about how we want to break out a big brewer shanks. So that little banger will be very tasty. It's a great find for print. And it's a great bit of demonstration of footage for people who are following the blueprint too. It's just a tiny little wiener six months old or something little young hind so it's actually um, arguably a good thing to be taking hinds out of the population in the Kaimanawas at the moment um, and that'll be very tasty and you did a bloody nice little find there Print hey? Print likes plucking the deer and he can pluck it as long as he doesn't start eating the rump or something hey? You get a deer, mate. That was a bloody nice little find, that. Good boy. Good boy. So I had a follower of the blueprint from the UK asking me about hunting dogs at heel, hunting indicating dogs at heel, and I said I'd do a bit of, get a bit of footage because it's something I have done quite a bit in the past. Um, these days I tend to prefer to have a dog out front because they can hunt better out there, lead you. And on the wind and tracking um, but a combination of both you know I had print in at heel there and as we sort of come around a little bit of a spur come over the rise before that the wind had been kind of a crosswind and down and we sort of just come around one rise as we get it sidling a bit further up this creek and we had a nice wind coming down and as soon as that wind was coming down print got that wind and just trotted out in front and I let him lead me in a bit until I could tell we were getting very close and then I put him in at heel and he's basically right by my knee and I can look down and still read him on the wind while he's at my heel and uh, worked really well there and I was, could still look down saw he was basically fully locked up like I knew that thing was that's why I was going so slow I knew that deer was going to be right here somewhere I could tell by the way print was indicating that the deer was in within probably about 100 meters and I could see about 100 meters in most of the stuff so I was just going very very slow there and I knew it was going to be right here somewhere and I just come slowly come round the corner of a tree like that and she was just standing there probably a good 60 70 meters away actually um, so yeah that's that and we'll put that up in this video and uh, I'll have a talk about that in the inner circle but that's basically it there you know in the blueprint we train the dogs to hunt out in front and we set all that up but we also set up a really good heel and uh, you can use it as a tool and you can hunt exactly like that with your dog at heel and still use them very effectively. Right, I'll um, dress her out. Well, i got her hanging up and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go down across the creek and up the other side. Have a nosy around an area I've never been to before. It looks some good contour lines on the map. I think there's going to be some nice benches over there. How's this bench for a bloody spot though? He's a cracker. Real good spot. Bench like this, big open bush for a deer to be hanging out on a wet day like today. Even a good spot to be moving through. Early morning, late evening, deer crossing backwards and forwards, nice and open. Plenty of opportunities.
It pissing down. <laughs> Bloody warm though, and I've got dry layers in my jacket, all stashed, all sealed up, and a dry bag in my day pack, so it doesn't really matter. But yep, she's raining properly now. Just back there, where I wanted to drop down and cross over up the other side, it's just all bluffs along there. So I'm going to drop down into the creek and have a nosy around and see if I can find a way up that other side, even if I just find a way up for tomorrow. Um, a bit early to head back already. <laughs> Boy. He's like, don't rub the water in. <laughs> like, don't rub it in. the creek and tracked right up the side here and we just spooked it. Just up here. It's a real nice little find that. I thought the camera was rolling for the whole thing. I think it was a hind, hind or a spiker, mature animal this time, and yeah, she saw me before I saw her and just took off, gave her a couple of big loud fawn calls, but she wasn't stopping for nobody. Shit, bit of a slip coming down across behind me, Rich tree falling down or something which is quite common when it's raining like this even when it's dead still and it's dead calm because all the this is the first good rain in a while so all the big soggy rotten bits that have dried out and gone rotten and cracked over summer fill up with water and start dropping down that's the second bit of big bit of shit I've heard falling today but what I started rolling to say was that that was my fault and the way print was indicating I should have been going way slower but I was just sort of climbing the hill and um, stuffed it up you can't get them all though and when you're hunting over a dog that happens a lot and you've got a dog taking it a deer you're having more contacts and you definitely don't get them all you shoot more but you also spook more too we um so Print brought me up to the side, I spooked that deer, and she ran around the corner, and I basically did the exact same thing again. Print um, followed it up, I thought she'd be gone, and I come around the corner way too quick, and she was just standing there waiting for me. Um, but again, I was going too fast, come over the brow too fast, and she just took off. Um, my own fault again, really. But um, Print's cranking, and he's still tracking her now. So we can basically track her for as long as we want to, and it's, it's surprising too, um, tracking deer like that, especially in conditions like this, how much you'll just catch up to, with them over and over again. She can't hear me coming in this, um, so it's up to me really. I might follow her up a little bit and um, go from there.
Yep, print. Good boy. Yep, print. Yep, print. Good boy. Print, come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, so um, it was basically just bashing a beeline back to camp and Prince just started getting a wind there. Uh, most of it was on camera. And yeah, so I just slowed down and he was indicating really obviously. And we come over that brow there and I just had an awesome view of a big open bench down below me. So I just stood there for a minute, slowly moved, keeping my eyes open. And sure enough, there was a um, hind standing there. Don't know what happened on that first shot. She was probably a good 100 metres away, sort of freehand shooting down on, on top of her. And uh, I don't know, but my first shot wasn't perfect. And she ran off. And uh, well, she sort of walked off very slowly and awkwardly. And I was just going to where I last saw her and going to walk past there, carrying along the um, bench here. And Print turned and was pointing real hard and ninjaed right up to this edge here and was locked up. I knew she was standing just down here, just by the way he was indicating. And she'd come along this bench, turned off, come down here and was standing right there where Print is under that log standing right under that log there and Print just come right up to the edge and was just pointing straight down here really intense and I just saw her standing right there and I just um, gave her a finishing shot and she's just laying just down there um, we're 100 meters away from the hut so I'm going to dress her out there and just drag her down to the to camp hole and then we can butcher her up tomorrow or the next day another bloody nice find that um, just big advance warning there and he picked her up probably 200 meters out on a good direct wind and it was just very obvious there was something out in front of us and then just that perfect opportunity of um, coming over that edge big open area um, and just took my time and spotted her so there she is there and that's where she was standing hiding in under that log quite clever well, it's pissing down so I'm gonna quickly gut her and shoot back to camp Well, camera went flat before and everything was so wet, I didn't want to um, change a battery till I was back and dry. Um, so I dragged that second deer all the way back to the hut and she's hanging up just off the end of the hut clearing there. Um, and while I was drenched, when I got back, it was still pissing down and the tank was overflowing. I um, stripped off out by the tank and grabbed a bar of soap and had an awesome wash while I was wet. Um, so pretty comfy now bloody warm and comfy and just cooking a feed had a wash shot a couple of deer so um, feeling bloody good um, Nick's just shot out for a hunt um, he hasn't shot anything yet still 
and if he doesn't shoot anything tonight um i'm going to spend all day tomorrow we'll t- I'll take him out with print and um see if we can get nick onto a deer um like i said he's still trying to shoot his first deer um his partner is due to have a baby in the next few months um which is awesome but so but nick's going to be a bit tied down for a while so this is really his last chance um for quite a while to shoot a deer so um like i said if he doesn't get anything tonight we'll spend all day tomorrow and we've still got half the next day too to go hard out and try to get him set up on a deer right so it's day three we're heading out today to try and get nick onto a deer We've waited till the perfect prime time of middle of the day to start bush stalking. <laughs> um, but we've got all afternoon, which at this time of year is about eight hours. So we've got eight hours of hunting and we're all set up to hunt right through to dark. So we'll get the good end of the day anyway. Um, we're down in the creek just below the hut. We're going to climb up here straight opposite the camp. Uh, there's a bit of a steep climb and then lots of nice benches and then we're just going to be sidling through benches and around spurs and we can go right down to the main river, cross that and across to the other side where there's tons of mean country we've got more awesome country ahead of us than we can ever cover today and like I said we've got 8 hours at it so um, we should be able to get something happening <laughs> a little bit like that but there's always a way through somewhere and um, once you get through it there's some real nice stuff up here real nice benches <laughs> so rain all day yesterday bush is bloody quiet and the wind feels perfect for hunting the area that we're going to hunt so we're going to no talking for a bit we're going to do a good block of hunting here try to get onto something <laughs> sign up here it was much better over the other side the bush hasn't been that good either um, a lot of stuff like this pretty difficult to stalk a couple of half decent little sort of um, pepperwood guts in that but uh, yeah a little bit hard going so far today um, we're gonna drop down to a creek have a drink and a bite to eat and then move into an area that I know is not too bad there's a nice little bit of couple of open benches in that so I'll go have a look at there and then we might see if we can cross the river and 
shoot over into some other country we haven't been into yet. Right, so we just had a feed and a big drink. Uh, it's about 4.30 so I've got about three, three and a half hours just sort of coming into the good part of the day. Got some nice country that we're dropping down into from here. So, um, fingers crossed. Go, go. Can you see it? Did you just shoot a deer? <laughs> Sit. I've still got one up the spout. Okay, you on safety? Yeah, they've just stood there for a long time. Sit. Good boy. Dude, she was like... Oh it. my god. S Sit. Sit. Holy shit. Sit. Holy shit. <laughs> it's... I was like, fuck. It's on safety. Fuck. I'd say that's her dying. Should I go get Django up to the door? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that was an awesome point too. Just un unload before you climb over that. How's that? She just hopped right up in that gap and just stopped. Eh? I can't believe how long you fucking stood there. Good boy. That was oh my god. It was unreal. I could tell. I knew it was right here, dude. Yeah, the yeah. way he was locked up. He was fucking. I saw his back leg quivering. Yep, yeah, that was what he did with that hind under the log yesterday. And oh. the same thing. I knew it was right in front of us. Eh? It was like. Where was it? 
I'll try and get this blind. Let me see the dogs. He's bingo. Where is it? Where is it? As long as she doesn't hop up somewhere. Where is it? She was standing just up here, wasn't was she? It? Yeah, I felt like it was. Bingo one. Where is it? He's tracking in there. Where is it? Where is it? You got these big skid marks there. Here it is here, man. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Shot right through the shoulder. What's that? Shot right through the shoulder. Like a good shot placement? Yeah. Oh my god. I shot a deer. You shot a deer, dude. The fucking hoodoo is broken. In the bush during the day, over the With dog. The dog. <laughs> oh my Not, god. Nice young seeker hind. A seeker as well? Yeah. Fuck. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> I'm oh, fizzing. Same. <laughs> it's way cooler than shooting one myself. Way cooler. Yeah. Oh my god. Good boy. The gun isn't cursed. Nah. I'm not a bad luck. Nah. <laughs> and how good is it? Because it's taken you so long. It's been such a mesh. Oh fuck yeah. How many? Yeah. If you had a shot one easy as on your first mission, you would have been stoked, but you would have been, oh, mean, hunting's mean, but now you, um, we're both fizzing because it's been such a mission and we've, yeah. you finally got one. Quite cool, it's a little seeker as well. Yeah. Dude, that was, he was just on full point there Never for so long. Found it with that, I Good boy. Uh, we'll drag it down to this nice little flat spot down here, eh? Oh, the boys are stoked on this, eh? Um, yeah, me and Nick have done a few missions. And it's been one of those ones where I'd go out, shoot a couple of deer, easy as, and then I'd be, Nick, come out to the spot, I've got a real mint spot lined up for you, easy as, take him out there and we'd just see nothing. And then I'd take someone else there the next time and we shoot two straight away. Like, we just we just keep just missing it, eh? Yeah. You know? Curse, some kind of... Little bit, yeah. It was just way harder than what it should be, but it just makes it way cooler when you finally do. Um and it, it was super classic too we just finished lunch and we got up and I, we, we walked about 50 meters and i said to i stopped and i said to nick um do you want to shoot one now and nick was like yeah i was, I was just having a joke i was like do you want to shoot one now and nick was like um yep yep i'll shoot one now and i was like sweet because i just sort of given you the guide at all i didn't want to just get on get you onto one straight away I just wanted to lead you around and show you a few things so we'll, we'll shoot one now and we literally went like a minute after that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, unbelievable. That was classic. So good. So good. Hey, boy, how good. <laughs> hey, sit. Good boy. Good dog.
Right, so all the deer are cut up, bagged up in the chili bin. Um, I dragged the carcasses well away from the hut and Nick's got the hut spick and span. We've just got our stuff all over the veranda here. We've got to tidy up. Getting picked up in about half an hour, 40 minutes. So I'm going to end the video here. If you want to learn more about how I train print, we filmed the entire training of him and the deer dog training blueprint right from an eight week old pup right through to shooting deer over him in the bush. Um, link will be in the description. Cheers guys, see you later.